In this video, I just wanted to talk real quick about kind of my bathroom setup and what I designed this bathroom to be. This has really helped me since I've been paralyzed because it's a large bathroom. It gives me plenty of space to turn around. The condo that I was living at before was very, very tight. I couldn't even get the door shut all the way in the bathroom. So this has been really beneficial. Of course, this isn't probably ideally set up if you are a higher energy level or if you are a quadriplegic. But for somebody that's in a manual chair, I feel like this is pretty sufficient. One thing I did was I have a 36 inch door. So it's very wide. You can see I don't have to worry at all about bumping into this. This is actually probably larger than it really needs to be. But that was kind of beneficial. The other thing is you can get this bathroom with a tub right here and a shower stall here. Obviously, I'm not going to utilize the tub too much. And we have a second bathroom with a tub. So I often not to have a tub right here. In this case right here, I keep catheters in the top and the wet ones uh, to clean with. And then down here is my bowel supplies and stuff like that. So it just kind of keeps it out of the way. It gives me more access for these drawers for other, other things. These top two panels are actually fake. So I thought about having drawers installed eventually, but I think that was like $130 to do that. So haven't gotten to that yet, but this is really nice. It's a roll under sink and the counter itself is lowered a couple inches. I think it's usually this much higher, but I can roll under it and I can brush my teeth. And if I don't want to take a full shower, I can wash my hair in the sink. So this has been very beneficial since it is a little bit lower. But one thing to think about if you do get a lower sink, you need to think about your seat to floor height of your chair. Because when I got this new chair, I really needed to make sure that it wasn't going to be too low or too high, I should say. Because if my knees are bumping into this, then obviously it's not going to be very good for everyday use. So that is one thing I did there. So as far as my toilet's concerned, I have quite a bit of space between the cabinet itself and the toilet. When I was designing this house, this toilet used to sit right in the middle, but the designer suggested I shifted it down which is really, really good because it's getting me as close to this wall and it's really helping uh, to access this bar as much as possible. The other thing is this is an ADA toilet. It's a little bit higher and it has the elongated bowl. So the higher toilet allows for an easier transfer and the elongated bowl helps me with my stem when I actually have to go to the bathroom. So that's really nice. I also have a padded toilet seat I usually replace this about every six months or so just to make sure that it's as padded as possible. But that's really, really helpful when you're sitting for a long period of time. You don't have to worry about your skin quite as much. Obviously, I can't feel my skin, so that's a big issue for me. And in the bathtub, well, not the bathtub, but the shower itself, I just have a padded seat cushion. This is just a regular transfer bench. And then I have this hose right here that can be turned on and turned off with this little valve. So that's really nice. I also have the grab bars in there. So as I'm leaning forward, it's a little bit easier to access. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll talk to you soon.